2015, where I think in Burbank. How you doing, money? Stressing out? Yeah. Yeah. She won't let me drive. I don't know why. I got this. You got it? All right. All right, we're on 210. It is 940, and we're in a traffic jam. Is there any time of the day in LA that there's not a traffic jam? You got something to say? You're such a booger. Is that what you is that? Is this really hard? This? So hard. So hard. I can't enjoy this beautiful, beautiful view. Okay, about noon, we're 65 miles outside of Phoenix on Highway 10. And um, we filled up in gas. What was that town? Pith? Pith? No, Lovrick. Loverick. We filled up in gas in Loverick. We had to go to the bathroom. And we paid, and it was in California, and we paid $5.50, about five sixty, I think, for a gallon of gas. And then we literally drove uh, 10 miles across the state line into Arizona, and gas went from $5.60 a gallon to $3.99. And um, so... We, we just figured that we were gonna let uh, California stick it to us one more time. All right, we stopped at a uh, rest station outside of Phoenix. We're about an hour from Tucson. One more hour to see Sam. This is how we parked the car last night. So that, uh, put my son's car right behind here so we can't, can't easily, although I still think it's maybe possible uh, to get the trailer out of here. I mean, it's it's pretty uh, interesting that, I mean, they have a pretty long lifespan, 40 years, you know? <laughs> so funny. We have an intruder. <laughs> it's probably the most excitement he's had all day. <laughs> what should we do? I'll take his driver's license. So sexual, Shireen. Sexual. Mockery. Lone Star Lady.
after about five, eight hours, we finally made it to Memphis and the guest house. Let's see what she says. Do we go in here? Huh? Do we go in here? Huh? Do we go in here? Yeah. Oh, we do? Yeah. Graceland. Habibi Elvis. Walking back from Elvis. the tour, Graceland tour. Yeah. Little known fact is you can totally walk this. Even though everybody acts like you can't, you need to take the shuttle. But I would recommend walking it actually. 10 minute walk. 10 minute walk. Your banana. Fried banana. Come on. Fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. Yeah. Oh, this is his favorite. Yeah. And I had it with the butter. Not the Because you could do the bacon grease. Oh yeah. Maybe that would have made it better. Maybe. Maybe. Um had it with the butter and it was okay. Because I'm not really big on big banana flavors. Mm. Love the banana. Don't like banana desserts. Don't like banana shakes. So it was cooked banana, not my favorite. Huh.
guys take a picture of these guys? You guys take a picture. Second at 10:30 a.m. We're leaving uh, our friend in Cornelius, North Carolina, and now heading towards Wake Forest, North Carolina. We drove 3,526 miles to finally get here. Um, empty off the U-Haul because 
in the U-Haul, there's a bunch of baskets that I want to use for all the stuff I'm unpacking. Well, we, can, we can start. Okay. I think it's, you should. But, I don't, let's not do it too gung-ho. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, let me get the keys. Should we just move this stuff downstairs? Do you think that'd be more helpful? No, well, I think we can move it out of the way. I don't need to move it downstairs. Well, I mean, I'd say we bring it down one at a time and unpack them. And then we need to leave it up here because we need to the baskets from. All right, 5.35. This is what we're looking at. We've got a lot of work to do. The first dinner of our cruising season. On mile one. On mile one. After a very hard day of traveling and unloading. It's 7.15. Your wall. I'm gonna sit my wall. Let me see. See? Oh, that was nice. Got our new flexible props on. Uh, the tech yesterday was able to heat up and then insert an extractor and get the bolts out. Um, when he tried to do the starboard, he actually broke off the head too, so at least it wasn't on me. It's good to know. So every part of your body hurt last night? Every part, every single part of my body hurt last night. Why, Shereen? Because we emptied the U-Haul and the car and dragged everything up a step ladder onto the boat because the boat's on the hard. Everything was heavy. Was, was it as bad as you thought it was going to be? Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Do you have too many clothes? No. No? No, Mike, there's no such thing. No such thing. Mm. Say hi. Hi. Yet another storage room in Hayes, Virginia. Hayes, Virginia. Yeah, it'll all fit. Of course it will. Yep. o'clock on Saturday. This is what we got. Oh, we would ever end. Uh, Tuesday the 8th, it's about uh, quarter to nine. And uh, I just heard that they're going to drop us in today. Um, the winds are pretty blustery. Temperature really dropped off. It was about 80 the last three or four days, five days, and now it's a uh, high of like 50 or 60. Winds are gusting probably up to 20, 25. Uh, got a lot of anxiety about uh, dropping in. I can't believe those little sticks um, hold up the boat. Sticks? Yeah. I think most of the weight rests on the keel. I can't believe the weight rests on the keel on the ground. Yeah. And it doesn't snap. Yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. It's crazy. How heavy is that boat? Uh, I don't remember. 20,000 pounds. I think it's about uh, 20,000 pounds laden. And then with all your clothing, it's probably about 30,000 pounds. <laughs> Well, this was our home for four days. It is Tuesday.
Tuesday, November 8th at about 4.45. We have a meatloaf in the oven. I have just washed the boat and uh, it really needs another going after it, I guess. It's pretty damn dirty. Shereen's taking a shower and um, yeah, we're just hanging out at Zimmerman's tonight. Steve was very nice to let us stay. Hopefully the weather will break tomorrow and we can head out to an anchorage before heading over to York River Yacht Haven. Unfortunately, they are closed on Wednesday, so we might have to go in on Thursday. Although there's a few folks that are actually anchored out around the bend here, and they said uh, the wind was howling about 40 knots last night around 3, 4 a.m., but right now the, the wind has kind of died off to about, you know, 8 to 10 to knots, so it's uh, much calmer now.